character says she's been screaming, crying. I drove out to come see my friend and I was so happy because I never socialize, like rarely these days. Well, I go out kind of a lot, but I don't, I just be in my own zone. I don't like go and hang out with my friends these days. So it was a cute little moment for me. And she's been screaming for about the whole 45 minute drive, but I'm still gonna choose to stay positive. Judah and AJ are home. They said they're gonna deep clean the whole house. So today's a good day. I don't care, nothing can kill my vibe today. I got wine. Me and my friend finish, and I got her like a gift card to Home Goods, and there's gonna be snacks. You ready? Feel better. Okay, let's go. Don't don't be alarmed. It's a long story of why she's in a tight seat. I was like, what happened? <laughs> Was she freaking out in the back? Yeah, she Aww. was. And then I thought, like when we got to your house, I thought we were um, there, so I just took her out. No. Wait, let me get, um... oh, he's sick. Yeah, like he woke up with a runny nose, a cough, all that. And I know you didn't want that around your face. Girl, I'm going to take you. How was the drive? Wine. Ooh, yes, I would take it. <laughs> um, it, was, it was horrible because <laughs> I kept, I went in two big circles and I went to the wrong neighborhood. Oh my God. <laughs> it's beautiful. Everyone's buying hats. It makes me so happy. Um, I need to get out more. I need to socialize more. Like, this is not okay. Tell me why when I went to go for a for the first time, I went in for a kiss. I feel like it, it was just like a re like I'm, I swear like I tell me you guys I have not been socializing so I feel like it was just a reflex because like I'm used to hugging and kissing the people I love. Okay, what y'all in here making? Sauce. <laughs> really? You're gonna put that in there? What? It's my sauce right here. Oh, you already put it in? Yeah. He's making the sauce for the salmon. Okay, what is the sauce made out of? We have onions, bell peppers, garlic, um, seasoned, of course, heavy cream, gouda cheese, mm -hmm. uh, blended cheese. Uh, a little chicken bouillon, a little white wine sauce to help the vegetables uh, caramelize, mm. and Hennessy. <laughs> and what you got over here? Mushrooms and bell pepper, which we just sauteed to with butter. That's going to be like, more like a side. And then, corn. and then you made a separate sauce. What's that sauce made out of? That's cream cheese and butter and it's simple. And then just the seasoning. Is that the same seasoning as you would use? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I am the taste tester. That's <laughs> mm. so good. That's fine with olive oil. Talk to me. <laughs> or, um, Charge ninety nine for that olive garden. Like it would be in the fancy section of the menu. Yeah. Salmon. Beautiful. Wait, do you want sauce in here on your fish? Yes. Thank you. What's up, you guys? Wait. Yeah. Okay, so today we're gonna be thrifting for the new house for the first time. There'll be many trips here, 
many meetups from off rep buying stuff from people many many to come but today's day one and look what my mom got me i know june would be very very careful okay. and attentive <laughs> So she got me the whole set. I just threw on the jackets. <laughs> oh no. I'm so mad at myself. I had so many of these and I got rid of all of it. I just want to cry thinking about it. And my mom knows that. And she got me. She found me a pink one. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. This just makes me so happy. I'm sorry. I'm going to wait to wear the whole thing because I want to take pictures in it. And I don't want to mess up the pants. You know, me and my mom were beefing when I was living with her, but now that I'm gone, things are so much better. Now that I'm not in her face every day, she loves me again. Okay, they were closed. <laughs> um, oh, but Big Lots is open and they're 50% off. We're gonna come back out at 10.30. We have a like a phone interview. Oh my God, look at all these couches. And that's the one thing we need so bad. Um, This like show hit us up. I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't know if we're actually gonna do it, but and um this is actually cute, but not quite big enough. Um there's a show and they want to interview us, but I don't know uh wouldn't say we're media trained. Like, here's my thing. <laughs> Judah and Aja, like, there's, they just be saying whatever comes to their mind. Everybody's so sensitive these days and judgmental. And I don't know if I want to put my family, like, on an even bigger platform where I can't control the narrative. Um, and I can't control what's going to come out of their mouth once that camera gets turned on. But I guess I think that we'll just do this one interview and see how it goes. And, um... And then we'll see what this is actually really cute i love this table but i did want a square one so this is not a sale to me two to 140 no i need 200 to 59.99 so yeah we're gonna go do that interview and then we'll come back out i want to see it this bed is really cute so this is the material and look of the couch that I have in my cart on Wayfair. I look at this couch like every couple days. I want it so bad. I think right now it's on sale. It's like six. It's it's somewhere between like sixteen hundred and two thousand. It go. It keeps going like up and down on the website, but this is the first time I've been able to like feel it and see the material. I like it. I don't like this though. I don't think it's worth 160 when it's just like a little ottoman type thing. It's called a lounger and yeah, you get a pillow, but you can't, it's like you can really lay out on it or anything. So no thank you, but um, ooh, now this is cute. Oh, it's 178. Now see, this is more worth it because it's actually comfortable. And you can twist around. Mm. Yeah. This is nice. I love this. Well, it's all dirty. <laughs> but this is what I want for Jose's room. It's the perfect color for a night. I wonder how you clean it. Does it recline? Well, it doesn't actually recline. That's super cute. I really love this. I feel like it looks real. Why are these $70 nowadays? I haven't bought one brand new in so long because I keep, I always find these on um, like off rep, just people selling them. Y'all are paying $70 for these fake plants? What the hell? Why? Why are, why are they doing that? Why are the prices like this? Look, this one's 65. These are too cute though. But damn. Why is this for a plant that's fake? It doesn't even give you oxygen. 
I'm gonna wait, I had to wait to it up for the interview. You, you ready? Yeah, I'll stay ready. <laughs> You're the best to cuddle with. I, I actually hate cuddling, if I'm being honest, but. Don't like, act like it. No, but y'all, I cuddle all day long. Because I just feel like it's hot, like, back at. Not with these two. How do you ask too? <laughs> You lost, like, you know where you at? I don't know who So get up out of here before I get ugly. See, I am freaking ugly. Chest like this. Right. Let's see. Oh, wow. That was a hard you sword. Really like my, it's a uh, sword. Look, you like my the new tripod? Look. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, look when we go places. Look, Jude, when we go places. You want a sword too? See, we need to get a machete. No. How did you determine to get a machete? Why are you so big? Yeah. Look how big you are. You're so far up there. Oh my gosh. Now then. Yo, I was stuck in like Okay, I just wanted to leave this clip in here for anyone interested in um, learning how to meditate or like if you're just getting started or if you already know what you're doing and you just, you're interested in new breathing techniques. This one, we've all really been loving. It's so great for like nervous system regulation and just like relieving anxiety and stress just like instantly if you need a quick fix. Google the Iceman, Iceman breathing techniques or shamanic breathing. Both will lead you to directions on how to do this, but basically it's 30 breaths, 30 deep breaths, quick in and out, and then you hold for about 15 seconds. You don't breathe and you just kind of chill right there, listen to the sounds, try not to have any thoughts. And then you can repeat this three times. So we'll randomly do this throughout the day, especially on the weekends. And we feature different relationships all over the world and kind of highlight all these different relationships that stand out, show them positively, but also show how you can be judged just for being who you are, for your lifestyle, for what you do for work. Um, so I came across your story through Kiara's YouTube. I was just interested to learn more about you all. Guys, look. I went to stand there. You're amazing, everybody. Just take one. Thank you. No, he has to love it. Mama! Huh? I gave you flowers. Thank you, boo boo. Oh, wow. Another one. What I do to deserve two? Can I have some water? Yeah, you have water. You want some water? No, y'all drink that. Y'all need to hydrate. No, I'll slap. I'll slap, Mom. I'll slap. I'll slap, Mom. I'll slap. You want to go to the Goodwill? <laughs> oh, I forgot what she was going You don't want to? You don't want to look at cups? I know you want to look at cups. You know you want to look at cups. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, look. Is that, are these for soup? Five dollars. There's so much stuff. I like a shoe rack. It's oh, cute for a nice room. Okay, this is what we got so far. So this is gonna be a dollar. Like how these have the um like the color on the inside. And I think I'm gonna add these in because I eat a lot of soup. So right. Yeah, what are these? What do you use them for? No, that's what I'm saying. Oh, oh they're like a little teapot. Tape. <laughs> these are pretty. Oh, look, boo. For you. <laughs> she, always, she always says, don't take home dolls. Do you like those soup ladles? Ooh, if these aren't like the most vital thing for you to get in my time. Okay. <laughs> See, that's what I was thinking. That's your go-to. <laughs> Literally, she eats chicken. Are you recording? Yeah. She'll eat chicken like on the bone with chicken bouillon and noodles like yeah day. for the rest of her life if that was her only meal she would be so happy so she needs back oh this is cute do you like how they're like i don't like the blue though but do you like this oh it's plastic i was looking at that i just think that it would have been nice yeah we'll keep it okay. matchy matchy okay so these are go right yeah Got uh, another 25 cent mug. Five dollars for all of these. They're not glass, but they're very like thick um, gum material. Perfect actually for the kids to eat on and not break. Oh, I just found the matching plates to those cups, so definitely. Oh my gosh, have to get this. We were just talking about winning one of these, weren't we? Oh, hell yeah. I am excited. We have to get these, we're not going to keep on paper plates. Deal. 79 cents. They're really heavy, good quality. You can do dinner or soup in these. Mm -hmm. Might as well get the matching plates. Guys, why is this four dollars? Oh, you're coming home with us. You're coming home with us. Okay, so we. How much was the Goodwill tab? Sixty-five. We got so much stuff. Like, yeah, we got probably. I feel like it was at least two hundred dollars worth of dishes. So, <clears throat> everybody's a little under the weather. So I'm gonna make a big pot of chicken soup. I'm gonna start with garlic and ginger roots. Now we got some onion, carrots, sage and mint, and rosemary. Okay, green onion and purple cabbage. Okay, so doesn't matter what kind of chicken, just make sure it has the bone and the skin on it. I'm just gonna do these because I don't have to cut anything up. You can just scoop your own piece out. Should I get two? Okay, and chicken bouillon. Celery. Surprise for you. Huh? Okay, come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. Yep. <laughs> it's 
since you like to cuddle. Okay. I've always felt like anytime, the few times I've tried to go and look for other polyamorous couples online, I never really find much or it's weird content. Like, it'll be these weird storylines like, um, my husband was cheating, so we I decided to be, you know what I'm talking about? Yep. I get it now. It's, it's all on purpose. It's deliberate. Like... <laughs> We um we were doing the interview and she was asking us so she was asking us all these questions and I guess we were too boring or what normal I don't know um yeah we were too normal for her and so then she was like um well yeah you know me and the producers were talking and we're thinking of going with this storyline of where we say that Judah chose Aji as your replacement. Like, why would I, <laughs> why would I agree to that? Like who, but then I guess people do agree to that. That's why the weird content is out there or they only stick to polyamorous families that are controversial because people will click on it. But like, now I get why there's such a, uh, like so many stigmas around this because it's just like, people only want to talk about the weirdness and the craziness like people because people want to use this dynamics like project their own insecurities and their own ideas and their own like perversions too low-key like it's either usually centered around sex or some type of weird mess going on where the man is i don't know Oh, but first, on this episode of Cooking with Kiara, first, you fill up, you get a really big pot and you fill it up with water all the way to the edge. For those of you curious, we spent $40 and we got enough ingredients to feed a family of five for two to three days. So, if it's just yourself or two people, like, this soup goes a long way. But yeah, that whole little weird ass situation, um, it got me to thinking about, well, because I was already feeling iffy, like I was telling you guys earlier about our story being put out in a way that we can't control or we don't decide, and now I get why my intuition was telling me that's not a good look because people just want clickbait, and I get it, like, so this 60 I'm a content creator, I get it. But I don't think how can I say this? There's a lot of you picking up what I'm putting down? Trying to save money. I feel like there's people out there that can try to work themselves into a situation like this for messed up reasons. Um, just like people with issues and weirdos and stuff. And I wouldn't say that, and my relationship is so not on the weird shit. And so I don't think that it's, so I think it would just be so foolish for me to be okay with it being depicted in any type of negative way when that's not even what it is. And like the world should see polyamory, how it can be done in a positive way. Like why not? I feel like that's more of my purpose for sharing my business than trying to get clickbait is showing other sides of it. Like it doesn't always have to be this um, wild, crazy, weird situation. Our day-to-day -day lives are very normal. Like, we do the same thing everyone else does. We like, we go to work, we take care of the home, we take care of kids, we spend time with each other. It's not this wild orgy all the time. And I guess that's boring, but I think it's important to show that it can be that way too. It doesn't have to be anything more than that. And so I don't think that's smart for me to go down the route of just like posting stuff for clickbait and i have kids so why would i do that <laughs>
Why would I want them to think that <laughs> Daddy loves Aji because he wanted a replacement for Mommy? And and AJ got they all got so offended by that. I feel like like I was just more so looking at her like what the fuck. But they were like genuinely offended that they would even say that. So yeah. That rep us all the wrong way. But it kind of showed me a little bit how um, it can be hard, I guess, to hold your integrity when you're, especially when you're in like the social media world, because you, you need things that are going to be entertaining. You need shit people are going to click on. Yes. But there's certain lines, you know, at what point do you stand up and say, no, fuck the views, fuck the money, fuck the notoriety. This isn't right. So I just feel like it's one of those situations, like the exposure wouldn't even be worth it if that's how we're gonna be portrayed when that's not even the truth. I think that idea is more of like a projection. Like you might look at the three of us and like if you're instantly trying to find something wrong about the situation, you're gonna start there. Oh, Judah's toxic, he forced them, he's replacing, He's you know, like, it's just people's projections. I can't just be okay with the fact that, like, we're three people just doing life together and we love each other. Like, that's not enough. And so they want to project other stuff. And it's really important to, like, not let other people define your story and your decisions. Only you know why you do what you do. I'm really qualified to give this advice because I feel like that like all my 20s that's all it was i was letting other people like define who i am for myself and then it just causes a lot of like um internal turmoil like it causes a lot of like it like increases your anxiety your feelings of insecurity um and the thing is like people can say whatever and they're always going to say whatever and they're always going to project and they're always going to come up with their own opinion of you right that you can't control that but if you take those opinions as fact and start internalizing them believing them and like letting them play in your head you know what i mean like if i would have walked away from that interview like yeah my husband's trying to replace me that's what it is everybody's out to get me this is all fake he's trying to like that's when it becomes true and that's me letting someone else define my situation and so there's just been so many moments in my life where i allowed that this is where I've allowed it and I'm at a place in my life where I don't play that shit no more. Your opinion is your opinion, but you're not gonna tell me shit about me. And you're not gonna tell me shit about the people that I am doing life with who are there for me, right next to me, day in and day out, good, bad, ugly, the people that genuinely care about me. You're not gonna tell me nothing about them and you're not gonna tell me nothing about me. But it took me a long time to get here. So if you're younger than me and you're listening to this, fuck everybody's opinions they project we as human beings we project like a mother we see someone a situation and we immediately start placing on them our own um stereotypes and beliefs and stuff that's going through our own head we don't know shit about who that person really is or what we're really looking at so try not when people do it to you try not to internalize those opinions and move through your life as if it has any truth like you you know especially when we have a strong intuition in us we know okay listen to yourself love yourself don't let other people define your situation and don't feel like you have to do weird shit that's way out of your personality and comfort level for like money or attention this one's yours okay Cheers. Oh, that was so Yeah, thank you. But um, there's still a chance. We're going to talk again and see what other ideas they have that are more like realistic and not so toxic. Um, and then if they're open to showing us just in a more positive, realistic way, even if it's different from what they usually show, like if they're willing to do that, then I'm still willing to do the show, but we'll see. So first I chopped up a bunch of onion and then this is the organic ginger root and some garlic cloves. You want to just put your ginger and garlic straight in there and your onions.
got some onions for now. And then, and then you wanna do your chicken. Okay, so first I'm just washing the chicken and then I'll drop it straight in there. And you might be wondering, where's your tripod at? Well, I can't figure out how to open it and make the legs come out. And I don't have the brain power today to sit there and try to figure it out. I don't think any of us do. So, we're still on the countertop. But now I'm gonna cut up the rest of my veggies and let them all slow cook and like, just get all marinated in there together. Get the natural flavors going from the bone broth of the chicken. Um, I'm gonna let all the veggies and the meat boil for probably at least 30 minutes before I come back to the spot. First, let's cut some green onions. Let's cut. celery We like it. It just gives a little extra something to your soup. It's not, I mean, it's not like it's full of flavor. Um, but I think it's delicious. Oh, one more little side note about that interview. Another reason why that storyline is just so wild. And see, you wouldn't know this unless you knew me personally. Like, you might... You might believe that just looking at us and just coming up with their own opinion of things from the outside, but I always like make jokes about me and the Aries because the shit is just so funny to me that I'm literally like, every time I see people talk about qualities of my sign, I'm like it to a T, like, so I just find that funny. And we're self-centered as fuck, okay? I can't even, bring myself to genuinely be interested in someone unless they make me feel like they're low-key obsessed with me and that i'm not joking when i say that i really feel like it's actually helped me a little bit in relationships because i yes i've been through relationships that weren't healthy but i've never been with someone who just completely shit on me like abused me or like um low-key hated me because I sense that shit right away. If you don't like me damn near more than I like you, then I can't like you. And I think, <laughs> I really think that's just a fun, like a funny thing about Aries because our ego sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's hard for me to even, and I'm an emotionally closed off person. So it's hard for me to even open up to somebody until I feel like they're all about me. So there is no way in hell 
anyone could ever be with me thinking that they're going to come into my life and treat me like or I'm replaceable. First of all, in order for me to be replaceable, I would have to believe I'm replaceable. That's another thing, thought that doesn't go through my mind as an Aries. Like, who would replace me? Like, that's how, that's literally how we think. So, for the most part, all my relationships, even situationships, people I just talk to for a minute, usually what gets me to, to talk to someone in the first place is feeling like they're hella enemy. Like, they think I'm so great so cute like you know how you can just genuinely feel when someone's like all about you like usually the way they look at you like you can tell from that first conversation right those people that look at me like i'm a prize that's what turns me on that will have me look at someone that i maybe wasn't even looking in that way before that'll start having me looking at them in that way just because of how much they like me so i would never even be with someone that acted in any way like I was replaceable. Fuck out of here. I'm picking you. That's the energy I come with. You just add your chicken bouillon until the ancestors say stop. Hey dad. I was just thinking about you so I was just calling to say I love you. You know what's so crazy is I didn't see you but I felt you. I'm like You can get your crown, honey. I'll buy you some. Okay, how long would you say it's been boiling? Yeah. Mm, probably like two hours? Okay, I think it's, yeah. So you just want that chicken falling off the bone, like such. Yep, there we go. That's the look we want. Okay. We, got, we got noodles and we got white rice. You were really glad you say suck it, huh? Bruh, here. I got so excited. Okay, the main reason I personally love to thrift is because I like all my stuff to look a certain way and I love name brands. I'm just, I can't always buy all of it. So yeah, I could have went to like Walmart and got a fresh set of new plates, but I just feel like these are so much better. They have character, they're from fancy places. Whoever bought them originally spent way more than I ever would. <laughs> and um, they look beautiful in the cabinet. Everything matches. It's exactly what I wanted. I wanted pretty cabinets when you open them because my last house, everything was just like thrown in there and mismatched. And Aji found these really beautiful like crystal looking butter and like snack holders. I'm going to go back and get a matching one for um, like a cake holder, but I love these on the countertops. Okay, really quick, I wanted to show, um, I need to talk about my favorite curly hair products more because we have a lot of hair in this house. But I've been using this by Cream of Nature lately. I am very impressed. I was on Lotta Body, I still am, but this one is has been working just as good. This is not for any of you who are looking for like chemical-free, natural hair care stuff. 
because I'm sure this isn't, but it does work really good. <laughs> and it's at Dollar Tree. So I washed and conditioned their hair and I covered it in this cream of nature stuff like to the point where you can see it's still thick and white. And then I took my um, umbrush, I believe is what you call it. I got mine on TikTok. They have it at Target now, but it usually sells out so fast every time they get a new display. I noticed like no matter what Target I go to. Brush, excuse me. Okay, you can also get this brush on Amazon though. Um, and I love it because watch. They have different they have different curl patterns and nice is a lot tighter, but I will say the cream of nature has been working good on both. As you can see, if I just get a good grip at the top, it just gets through all the knots. And watch. They said I love you. They did. Now, and he's a crier, so if this was really bothering him, he would have no problem screaming right now. Look at what it's doing. Look at that. As you can see, it's going through her hair too. So, um, <laughs> yeah, nice Barbie. On a nice curls that are a lot tighter, I run my fingers through at the end just to make sure they get that last bit of definition. I just kind of pull it. Okay, so it's about <laughs> no, it's about six o'clock. I'm gonna let them. It's about six o'clock. I'm gonna let them run around and let their hair dry out for about two hours. <laughs> Hi, Nana. Hi, Mommy. What are you doing? Yeah, you're not in my bed. You're not in your bed. <laughs> yeah, I am. No, you're in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, I'm in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Your curls look so beautiful. Thank you. You're so beautiful. No, you're so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Look, turn around and let me show everybody your curls. Okay, so this is after, um, she's just been running around maybe like 30 minutes. It's like mostly dry. There's still some in the back, but um, it starts to, um, it absorbs into their hair pretty quick. And then I'm probably, for her, I'm gonna put a bonnet on. And then for Jasse, I just put a bun up at the top of his head. Okay, say bye, good night. Bye, good night. Okay, and here's Jaws hair after the product has um Mama. absorbed into his hair huh okay and here's the morning after they just got in a fight so they're making grumpy faces <laughs> are you guys ready for school yeah okay mommy just wants to show everybody your curls i ran out of edge control so no edges no no tight knots today and don't say anything about how I did her hair. I'm trying. <laughs> we're, we're learning, okay? It's, a, it's one day at a time. I really need to find a braider out here. I don't know a single soul, but the first person I need to meet is a braider. Okay, here's Jaw. He's mad because he had to wake up today. But there's his curls. There's her curls, super soft. Okay, bye, Nana. Bye. You ready for school? Bye. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.